Alright boys and girls, it's been a little while, got an update on the Manx, so let's get into this thing. Oh, the mess continues. I don't know why, but it seems messier than ever. So, start a new project. Yes, that is a sewing machine. No, I don't really know how to sew, but I figured, why not? So, the big problem here is, every long trip we've taken on the Manx, it has stormed cats and dogs. And this last time, it stormed when I was driving at night. And of course, wipers would help that a little bit. But that only takes care of the rain on the outside. Doesn't do anything for the rain on the inside of the windows. So, no doors, no windows in the rear. The rain comes from the side a little bit, not as bad as you'd think, but mostly from the back. And it gets on the front windshield and you can't see because people drive with their brights on. New trucks are all three foot tall, you know, four foot tall lights in them. All of them are LED, bright as can be. And every little bit of water lights up on the windshield, making it impossible to see. So, I figured it's time that we make some side pods. Now, of course, these things are not perfect, because like I say, this is my first time ever sewing anything together and ever trying something like this. But I've done one. I got the driver's side done, and we're going to have to do this passenger side. And since I've never seen any true instructions, um, they give a little recommendation, but no instructions on how to do it. It's just a picture with like, you know, you want this tight here, you want that not tight here, and you figure out the rest. Actual dimensions won't really work for everybody because every one of these things is completely different. A good example is I was hoping that this side, the framing I made for this, would work on that side. And guess what? It's off by an inch. It's just the way it is. So I do see why they didn't give you measurements. But my thing is here, process. There's no exact way on process. And I'm probably not doing it correct. And somebody that's good at sewing and all that will say, oh, that's an idiotic way to do it. Probably is. But it's on there. All right. So I did what I did first is I went and I bought a sewing machine off Facebook Marketplace. This one cost me 50 bucks. You guys should be able to find them in that price range. It is not a heavy duty machine. Okay, very first thing. It is not probably made to sew this stuff. All right, just get that out there. Let's get some of the things I've learned so far out. First off, this stuff looks cool to me. All right. It's got sparkles and stuff in it. You see this in a lot of like retro restaurants that want that 50s theme and all that. All right, it looks cool. It makes really good, fun seat covers. Very bad idea to sew with this. All right, <laughs> unless you have like a heavy duty machine. So the back side is cloth, right? And it's vinyl, but this back side's cloth. The sewing machine will grab that no problem. This side is plasticish vinyl like clear vinyl all right the machine doesn't want to grab that for these cheaper machines maybe a heavy duty one would so it's no problem if i sew like a piece like this it doesn't no problem the problem arises when i fold it over to double up an edge and try and sew the little feet don't want to grab it so you have to grab it and tug it as you go all right makes life a little difficult. So if you're choosing material, the stuff looks neat, but it's not the best way to do it, go about it. All right. So anyways, let's see here. This is not a pro job. This is total amateurish, but I'm hoping it will work. All right. So it snaps in from the outside here and has three snaps along the top. We have a metal frame around the perimeter, all right? And the actual hinge point here is actually just the cloth, all right? And yes, I cut that and it's going to rip, I know, all right? I will probably try and sew that back together. Inside here is a piece of 1 8 inch by like 3 8 inch or half inch, I think actually, 
one eighth inch thick, half inch wide, flat aluminum. All right, and I've glued that into the into the material so that this can all come out. And let's pause for a second. And we're back. So it just comes out. All right. And that way you can take the whole entire thing off. Okay. It has, yes, I know, I'm sorry. There we go. It has a zipper. Goes around up to there. And I'd like to make it go all the way down. But the problem is when I bought a zipper online, that's as long as I got. So actually I had like three more inches. Next note, zipper around curves. They can't do a bend like this. All right. I watched a video and they said about the diameter of a five gallon bucket. All right. And that's probably about true because this has got a wrinkle in it. I really don't care. I just need it to zip up and down. But it works okay. You know, it does unzip. All right. And that is so mostly so that these, when you're sitting in the car, you snap these three along the top. And then I have one right here that keeps the bottom of the window fl from flapping that I snap. But I have to keep the back of the door from flapping. So you got to reach out and clip these snaps to the roof. All right. So anyways, boys and girls, and then going in here, my sewing machine doesn't have enough reach on the throat to sew this. So I actually just glued it, <laughs> you know, not the most professional way. What I should have done was like sewed a pocket in here to slide the windshield, the framing in and stuff, but I'm learning. I'm learning as I go. Okay. So anyways, we're doing this because like I say, it rains every time I drive it and I got to have a way to keep the rain out. I seen Bruce Myers had a little pamphlet on how to install the roof and it had suggestions, which is the best way to say it for those and for the back window. So what we are going to do is, like I say, I'm going to try and film some of this as I build the next one and take you guys along to see what goes in it. Because like I say, it, most of it's just like nobody knows, you know, you can take it to a poster shop and I'm sure they'll do an amazing job and they can do a lot better job than I can and possibly you, but I like doing things myself and I like saving a buck too. You know, I mean, the material was like you know, the rods are the most expensive thing in reality in the snaps, but the material was like 20 bucks for a yard because I bought it on Amazon for this stuff. The clear plastic was like $10 a yard or something like that. You know, so there's like, let's say 25, 30 bucks in that, you know, there's more money in snaps than there is in the material that sewing machines, 50 bucks, you know, so 80 let's say a hundred dollars i'm in it for all the material that i bought about so far you know it cost me several hundred dollars to have somebody do it and if it doesn't last forever that's fine i have the skills and knowledge to hopefully do it again so anyways boys and girls we're going to make the rear window and we're going to make that side window so we will bring you along and hopefully i'll have more updates try and get this thing ready for sick week I don't believe I'm going to get the dual turbos on here. We do have them over here in the corner. But um, I think it's going to take me most of this time from now until end of January to actually get all that done. Um, just trying to, you know, with the holidays and all that stuff, it's just going to be slower. I still got to build like a battery box. I got to put my battery cut off. There's a lot of other little things I need to do, but I need to make the car waterproof because I guarantee you this is a thousand mile trip. It's going to rain because every time I took it over 150 miles, it rains. That's just the way this car is. I think I should call it rain. Maybe I'll name it rain man. <laughs> Anyways, boys and girls, get out there, get your projects done. It is winter. So most of you guys have more time for garage time. Get your projects done. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also Teespring, there is stuff on there. I'll try and put a link below for t-shirts and all that. If you guys want to support me somehow that way, that's cool. If not, get out there, get your projects done. I'll see you guys later. All right.